Blair, Blair, Blair. Todd's Bike Shop, Todd's Bike Shop. It's time for Todd's Bike Shop. Yo! Today in the shop, we're gonna be building some wheels. And we base our work off of Roger Musson, sixth edition. Nice plug for his book. Paid for this book. Printed up some pages of this book. The interesting parts. I highly recommend it. So what you gotta do to build a wheel? Well, you need three basic things. Number one, we need ourselves some rims. So here I have a set of light bicycle. RMC19 rims. I have history with light bicycle rims and they are, from what I have experienced, indestructible. Now it's not a challenge out there. I'm just an old man and lots of different bikes and I haven't had that much time on them maybe. I don't know. But anyway, we got the rim. Z, plural. Maybe the last out of China at the rate we're going. And a pair of those. Next, spokes. We need spokes. Now I ordered these spokes out of a company called Wheel Builder here in California. And to get the right spokes for the right rim requires a little book, a little bit of information from the book on how to properly measure that. that ingredient as you spice your build of wheels are nipples. I use the 12 millimeter alloy style nipples and the theme will be blue. Kind of clashes, Ugh. but it's an attempt. Next, hubs. That's right. I'm gonna be using a set of the handy dandy Shimano XT. Not super fancy, but nice. The whole motivation for this wheel set is to really move up to some boost spacing front on my forks. And uh, to do that, I kind of need to make some new wheels. Looking for excuses. And on the rear, I've got this 12 speed hub. I inadvertently, well, I failed to purchase the right hub last time I was gonna build or rebuild a set of wheels. And this has been on the shelf for about the last six months, waiting for a wheel set. So 12 speed micro spline, see that? Micro spline is not equal. This is 12 speed, it's not equal to the 11 speed familiar Shimano uh, hubs, the uh, hub bodies you might be familiar with. So be really careful when you order these things now because you can pick up the wrong one. Let's just say I have experienced ordering the wrong one. And that's why I've had this guy ready to go now for six months, but now is the time. All the parts, all the places, let's start building. Talk parts, now it's time to talk tools. And I've got a very nice setup here for doing wheels. This is the Park TS, take a look, I document it here. TS2 professional truing stand. I can take the nice extra wide rims and wheels here. I had the opportunity to pick this up a couple years ago, and so I did, and it already looks pretty beaten for how few wheels are actually built, but this is the bomb to do this. And you can build these things, and inside uh, Roger Musson's, Musson's book, he's got some pretty beautiful plans for building your own out of wood, so for you woodworkers out there, um, there are other options besides dropping the change to get a hold of such a stand as this, but this is a nice platform to be working with. And you need spoke wrenches. This is the favorite one I like to use. This is for the appropriate size. It's a park tool. Um, I've even worn off the sizing on it. I think it's just for the standard two millimeter nipples of which we saw before in the inventory list. And the other tool I like and find I use often is a dead spoke or just another spoke. And I use this to basically reach the other spoke inside. So let's just twist it on. Ah, did it backwards. So we'll see how much of this gets out in editing. Used as such as a mechanism to put the spoke into the rim from the back. You'll see how this gets used later. I use this quite a bit.
Dun, dun, dun. The first step, or the step we now have for all the parts, is called lacing. Lacing is where we basically put the spokes into the rim. We find the pilot spoke, right? The book goes over this very nicely. It's a good spot to mark the rim. And this, we want to basically get it so the logo to be really cool ends up going to the Fast forward to where we're going here. Again, the book is great in the lacing. So we might get copyright issues showing this, I'm realizing. But seriously, it's going to be considered a promo video for Mr. Musson's book. We are going for basically step one. <laughs> 